it's Heidi Hope from New England Photo Collective and Photographer Rising. In today's lesson, we're going to be learning about fractals. Now you might be saying, what on earth is a fractal? Well, there are actually a lot of fractals on earth. Fractals can be found everywhere in nature. They are branch-like patterns where shapes and colors repeat themselves at all different sizes. Fractals can be found in snowflakes and seashells and flowers and plants. Today we're going to create fractals with water drops. By photographing water drops on a clear surface, you create a pattern in which the same shapes and colors are repeated over and over again in all different sizes. And when you zoom in on an individual water drop, you can often see the entire scene from below reflected in a single drop. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, and show us your results in the comments below. In today's lesson, we're going to be exploring fractals by creating art with water droplets. So the first thing we're going to do is um, create some different colorful pictures or compositions. So for that, you need a white sheet of paper and um, some small objects. So we have uh, some Legos here and we have some um, candy and fruit loop kind of cereal. And then we have Shopkins. We experimented with a few different techniques and some of them worked better than others. The saran wrap being attached to some boxes, that did not work very well. Um, we also tried using clear dishes, like a, a glass um, baking dish. This first try with it didn't work very well either. <laughs> then we moved on to a giant Tupperware bin and we placed saran wrap over the top of that. We had to tape it down here. Um, this was actually the most successful setup that we tried. So this is what I would recommend you guys doing, grabbing a big clear bin. It's important that it's clear because you need the light to still come through. You'd end up with a really dark picture if you don't use a clear bin. Next, you're going to line the bottom of the bin with white paper, or I guess it could be colored paper too. And then you're gonna fill it with your small objects and you can just scatter them around in any pattern that you like. Then you're gonna stretch the saran wrap over the top and it doesn't stick to the plastic very well, so um, using some clear tape will help you stretch it out. You want it nice and tight. Then start dripping your water on the saran wrap to create a pattern of water droplets. Try to get the water droplets in focus. Yeah, cool. That one? Good. Good, and then you can crop in on the composition. So you're gonna probably have some extra stuff around the edges, but then you can go into your phone and crop it. Try to get the water drops in focus, so you tap your screen. There. Oh, there it is. Yay! So some of the things we discovered with this lesson, it worked really well um, with the baking dish, but the saran wrap and the objects were a little too close together to get the objects out of focus and this, the water droplets in focus. So then we pulled out the plastic bin and we tried it with the plastic bin and that allowed us to get the objects a little bit further away. So you can play around with different depths of items between baking dishes or plastic bins. You just want to make sure the sides are clear so they allow light to come through or else you're going to have a really dark image. Um, and then you can tape the saran wrap on the glass. The saran wrap stays all by itself, which is really great. On plastic, you have to tape the saran wrap down. Um, and then you can experiment with putting different things in here. So let's try the Legos in there. Want to do that next? <laughs> Keep it towards the middle because that's close to the photo. I don't think your arms are up. We used just our um, cameras that were on our devices first to play around with it and it worked out pretty well. So we got some cool pictures on our iPods and our um, cell phone cameras. And then I also played around with my big camera. So if you do have an actual um, digital SLR camera or even a point and shoot camera, you can try this out with any camera. If you have a macro lens, a macro lens is amazing for these. When you're done with your images, don't forget to share them online with the hashtag NEPC challenge. And if 
you want more lessons like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, give it a thumbs up, and let us know what you think in the comments below.